Churchill writes about the future. The wealthy, crowded, progressive Jewish state will lie in the plains and on the seacoasts of Palestine. Around it in the hills and the uplands stretching far and wide into the illimitable deserts, the warlike Arabs of Syria, of Transjordania, Jordan, of Arabia, backed by the armed forces of Iraq, offer the ceaseless menace of war. To maintain itself, the Jewish state will be armed to the teeth and will bring in every able-bodied man to strengthen its army. But how long will this process be allowed to continue by the great Arab populations in Iraq and Palestine? Can they be expected? Can it be expected that the Arabs will stand by impassively and watch the building up with Jewish capital and resources of a Jewish army equipped with the most deadly weapons of war until it was strong enough not to be afraid of them? 1937. And if, Churchill goes on, and if ever the Jewish army reaches that point, who can be sure that cramped within their narrow limits, they will not plunge out into the new undeveloped lands that lie around them? 67 written in 37. You don't read this kind of thing anymore. 